Hi, my name is Mike Heiner from Strategic Asset Protection and in today's video I wanted to talk to you about non-married couples. Now, if you're a married couple you qualify for what we call spousal allowance, which means that if your estate is valued over the inheritance tax threshold, the inheritance tax is deferred until second death. So on first death there's no inheritance tax to pay, it's all payable on the second death as a married couple. But as a non-married couple, if your individual estate is valued over your inheritance tax threshold, then there's going to be an immediate IHT liability. Now that creates a real problem for some people. Let me explain why. So what we've got here, we've got Mr. and Miss, or sorry, Mr. and Miss, because they're not married here. They haven't got a will each either. And what they have got though is they've got children. So they've been together now for some time. They've got some children together. But the problem we've got here is that Mr. doesn't have to be this way, by the way, it can be any way. But for purposes, we'll say Mr. owns the house 100%. It's his house that they live in. He's got some savings, some investments, and other bits and pieces, making his estate over the inheritance tax threshold, which means that when he passes away here, there's going to be an immediate inheritance tax liability to pay. The other issue we've got is because they're not married, he's dying what they call intestate. Now the laws say that if you're a couple, if you're a non-married couple, well intestate rules don't recognise a non-married partner here. So she's not going to benefit at all because he's not written a will and he's not named her within a will. The people that will actually benefit from his estate will be his children. But the bigger problem we've got here is the fact that we've got an inheritance tax liability to pay here on his first death. So everybody's living in the house quite comfortably at the moment. Mr. passes away. Where's the money going to be found now to pay for this inheritance tax liability? Well, it's probably going to come from the fact they're going to have to sell the property now purely to pay an inheritance tax liability because we're a non-married couple. Had they been married, we could have deferred that at that inheritance tax liability until second death and all the assets would have remained in full control of Mrs. here or Miss as it were um, so that she could continue to live in the property do what she needed to do absolutely no problems at all. I hope you found that interest obviously remember to keep liking and following obviously for more content and I look forward to speaking to you on the next one.